I'm sorry, officer. I didn't mean it. I'm so sorry. Look, it's early, but I'm feeling like we really need to start adding some goons to this lineup. What's up, guys? Welcome back. If you're new to Rules to Pack Squads, will be in the description box down below. In every episode, we take our ranked season squad into a ranked seasons game. We try and get a win in ranked seasons, and the better we play in ranked seasons, the more points we unlock. Think of it as fantasy baseball. Everything we do, we get points. At the end of the game, we take those points, and we can buy packs off the marketplace. One point is 1,000 stubs. We get 75 points, we can get a 50 bundle. 40 points, we can get a spring breakout pack. And for all the cards in the game that aren't in the marketplace, we can trade in 50 points for any choice pack or player that is an offline grind only. Our lineup currently is Colton Wong, Josh Young, Spencer Jones, Brian Reynolds, Vinny Pasquantino, Gary Sanchez, Corey Dickerson, Alex Bregman, and Cedric Mullins. We're coming off a dominant win. A rage quit W. Did not complete our challenge wheel, though, so we didn't get those 50 points. I'm feeling like we should dabble into a 100-point data. We need a 100-point day. All right, now we're going to wheel spin. Let's see what our challenge for today's game is going to be. If we complete this challenge, remember, we get 50 bonus points. 10 or more hits as a team. This is extremely doable. We got to get these points. Pack Squads brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Download the Underdog Fantasy app today. Use code Shelfy. They'll match your first deposit up to 100 bucks. Home Squad. He's got the team captain, 87 Diamond Nathan Avoldi in the lineup. He's also got the team boost, Byron Buxton in there. His squad's looking really good. He's reading us on this first mix. And then he hits a slider right at Vinny at first base. Chad. I'm also just now realizing my camera wasn't on the screen. Hello, everyone. Goodbye. Oh, come on. Let's see if I can't freeze him here. He feels like a freeze him guy. Freeze him guy. Bang. There's a point. Oh, Colton Wong. Perfect, perfect to start the game. And that is an out. Are you kidding me? I don't. I don't understand. Three and oh. Spencer Jones on deck. I'm just going to take till we at least have a strike here. Josh Young smashes lefties. And he went right after with the fastball again. We hit it hard, but he snatches it over third. Not on top of that ball. Kind of want that pitch back, but decent exit below. Here's Spencer Jones. And that's swing. Oh, we got a bad jump in center. Maybe it's kind of hanging up there. No, no. Buxton got a bad jump. That was weird. The bad hack with Spencer Jones. It's a very forgettable inning. Kind of happens when you have a loud out to start things off. It's always like a bad omen. That's a really good slider. Soft contact out to left center. Bregman's there. Former LSU shortstop, Alex Bregman. Yes! Another point on the strikeout for Tyler Molly. First pitch slider, foul ball. We are ahead of him. He's ahead of the ball. Can I get a ground ball on the splitter? It's a hanger. It's a bad pitch. 0-2. 1-2. Let's just go more traditional with the slider. Just keep it, keep it down. Keep it down. Josh Young will make the play. Three up, three down. Six up, six down. Tyler's dealing. Pow! See, look, the iced tea lemonade's resulting in good swings. I can't do nothing about it for being a fly out to the wall. Vinny! One out, double. That ball's crushed. Oh, my goodness. Silver Vinny. Gary. Ball's lifted. 97 off the bat and caught at the wall. We are having some tough luck here. They just don't want to see us get these hits. They don't want to see us get these 10 hits. Cut her down and in misses 2-0 on Corey Dickerson. We've been ahead of them all day. Another fastball hit hard, but we got out in front of it. Got the bat head out there. 2-1. Change up splitter. Whatever you want to call it. We dropped the PCI just a bit underneath of it. It was out over the plate, too. I want that previous fastball back. We're bound to just get a no-doubter to click in, though. I mean, we're all over this guy right now. We got one hit. We need nine more. Fly ball to left. I feel you, man. I'm doing the same thing right now. Good cutter. One and two on Harry Ford. Really good pitch. Ring him. That's a point on Harry Ford. We got the strikeout. Here's James Wood in the nine hole. My goodness. How good is your team, bud? Don't lose. 1-0. Good splitter. 1-2. and two. I think I'm starting to get in his head a little bit. Just like I said, he's got the obviously better team. I'm out here ripping gaps with silver first baseman, though. He, like, he's pausing. He's got to slow himself down a little bit. Take a breather, buddy. That should not be in the strike zone, but I will take that. It was an accident, but sometimes accidents are a good thing, like half of the Earth's population. Briggs! 
Stay fair. Get up. Gone. There's the lead changer. Bregman, 88 exit velo, pulls it out of here. There's our second hit of the ball game. Seds. Not the best exit velo, but I mean, we did just hit one out at 88. Whoops. Now we're going to hit one off the top of the wall at 90. It's not a home run. It is another knock. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, I, almost, I was about to say, you better throw it in. It's a triple for Cedric Mullins with nobody out. So we got a homer and a triple. Can we hit for a cycle in one inning? That is an amazing backdoor cutter, Nathan Avaldi. Okay. Go, go. Gets all the way past him. Decent sized backstop there. It's 2 0 on the wild pitch. There's another point. Josh Young can hit with the bases empty now. Bang. Out to right. Knock. We're just rolling right now. All cylinders. Spencer Jones. I got it right on the power part of the PCI, but we were a tick late, and it's going to stay in the ballpark. I'm so mad I didn't just yank that into the parking garage. And then we chopped the changeup in there, the splitter, and, and the end. I'm going to keep calling that splitter a changeup. Looks like a changeup on the game. 2 nothing through three, four hits. We're on pace for the hits now. The splitter. No. Benny makes the play. I wanted the point, though. We're going to go traditional slider. Try and put him away the, the old-fashioned way. It's not. That's too much plate. Flies out the left, though. No damage, but that's way too much plate. Ground ball to first. Three up. Three down. Vinny Pasquantino makes making a lot of plays this game, actually. And here he is again. Doubled his first time up. Vinny Pasquantino barrels. Line drives and lines out to left. Gary. Woo! Nathan Avaldi is going to bring us a 1-1. He hangs the slider. That'll be a knock. Is it all the way into the gap? I need wall. I need wall. No. 17 speed will anchor, anchor down at first base for one point. Corey Dickerson have the air. Gone. Bang. Back-to-back -back knocks again in back-to-back -back innings. And Corey Dickerson just gets it over the wall. I missed that fastball. Bleed. Said. He hit that cutter extremely well, but he doesn't have much pop. Only 65. Homer on the 88 exit velo. He can only ask for so much all over that, but he flies out. We're through four. Giving up nothing on the defensive end. Four piece on six hits. Nice soft line drive to third base. I wasn't sure if that was going to one hop or not. Kind of held my breath for a second. Here's Spencer Jones. Give him a splitter to start things off. I kind of wanted a ground ball, Spence. The one time I am not just, like, begging for a strikeout. We're whiffing. Fastball away. Beautiful spot. We are just super ultra locked right now. Put this slider right in front of his hip. Good spot. One and two. And now we'll just try and freeze him up one, two off of that slider. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I feel like a five-star chef. Ooh, 0 and 2 on Adrian Beltre here. Let's just throw another slider, but a weird one up. Up and away. Awkward, but he drops it for a single. Because of course he does. Okay. Base knock to Spencer. Colton Wong has it. There's now two on back to back base hits here. Fifth. We're gonna go bullpen. Slider straight down for a ground ball. Too much plate. Oh, James Wood on deck. That's a dangerous at-bat. We went right at him. 3-1. He fouled it off. Now it's 3-2. Two, two outs. Runners on first and second. They should both be off. I'm going to go front door slider. Dude. Dude. I'm sorry, officer. I didn't mean it. I'm so sorry. Gap. Yes, Colton Long with a knock. That's number seven. We're three away from a 50-point bonus. Josh, that makes it eight. We're two away. Two away. Get up. Get up. Spencer Jones all over that hanging slider, but it's just not going to have enough. 99 off the bat, two top spins down at the wall. We got runners on the corners with one out now. Four, five, six coming up. Brian Reynolds is 0 for 2. He's been big for pack squad. And he remains big for pack squads. That's in the gap. Down for at least one. Our 10 hits have got to be done, right? Or are we still, are we at nine? It's a two-run double for Brian Reynolds, making a 6 nothing ball game here in the fifth. Nine hits right now for the boys. We need one more. One more in style. Get down. 
Vinny Pasquantino for 50 points. Cash it in. Woo! 50 piece. He's going to go to Rysel Iglesias out of bullpen now. Pulling the plug on the pitching staff. Cranked. Gary Sanchez hits one out to left. That makes it 7 0. The points are starting to flood in now. They're flooding in now. Ooh. Corey Dickerson rips that one foul. He puts one over the wall. This game is over. He puts one over the wall. This game is over. Corey Dickerson out to left. Send us home. Corey Dickerson. 10 0. 10 0. And our battery was on 1%. Game called due to mercy rule. Let's tally up these points. We did that with a... Our controller was on its deathbed. This thing needs life support. In today's episode, we had 12 total hits, three home runs, two with Corey Dickerson, which is a bonus, by the way. Cedric Mullins had a triple, two doubles, six singles. That's 25 total bases. We had seven strikeouts with our pitching staff. That multi-homer game is five more points. We get 10 points for winning the game and, of course, 50 points for completing the challenge. That's 47 points from gameplay, plus 50 for the bonus. 97 points. Two out of three episodes. 97 points on the dot. What is that about? Let's go open some packs. Are we counting mercy rules as rage quits for that extra 10 points since we lost some of the game? Question for you guys. I'm not going to count it, but maybe moving forward. We'll talk, we'll talk about it. You let me know down below. By the way, speaking of letting me know things down below, 2,000 likes on this video. Does your thumb work? Go hit that thumbs up down below. I'll wait. Okay, let's get back into the video. Molly went parallel one post game. Love to see that. We got some unlockables and some affinity packs. I'm super pumped for that egg hunt program to come out next week and us to start getting more storylines and affinity programs and whatnot. Right out of the gate here, though, I'm trading in 50 points for a Legends pack. I just I want to add another monster to our lineup. And honestly, Andrew Miller is probably the best and smartest card out of this pack for us. But we have another one. We'll open it at some point. I want another, another bopper in this lineup. And that bopper for me is going to be the brand new legend in MLB The Show 24, Adrian Beltre. Let's put him on the squad. Now I have 47 standard packs to open still, which means we're about to flood through our collections even more as well. Let's do it. Give me a diamond pull. Where's Otani? Well, this is unfortunate because we're all the way down to just 14 packs left, 13 packs left. So we got to leave one here. No diamonds. Not even any noticeable golds that are going to help our team. This is why I spent 50 on a Legends pack here to start things off. Standard packs have been brutal for me. I know we're going to shake it off at some point. We're going to go on a little run here. We're going to have some fun pulls, some good titles, you know, some good live series adds to the team here early on. It just didn't. It just hasn't happened here in the first three episodes. And we are running out of time. Two more. Clutch it out for me, man. All it takes is one. Otani. Brutal. I just flat out really, really difficult. It stings. Win by mercy rule. Don't even pull a good gold. I think I'd rather just eat a tub of mayonnaise than open packs in this game nowadays. Talked a little bit co about collections in the last episode. We're not even close on any of them yet. Even the free agents. We're only at 129 out of 200. The one I'm honestly most excited about is this 86 overall Roy Holiday. He's got 99 control of his cutter and sinker. Vladdy and Bo are not particularly expensive either. This is a collection I need to get done. Adrian Beltre slides into the starting lineup at third base. We now have a diamond in the outfield and a diamond on the infield on Pack Squatch. Vinny Pasquantino just continues to hit. He's four for six. There's no reason to take that silver out of the lineup. I'm going to swap Beltre with Reynolds in the lineup here, and this is how we're going to roll in the next episode. Colton Wong, Brian Reynolds, Spencer Jones, Adrian Beltre, Vinny Pasquantino, Gary Sanchez, Corey Dickerson, Alex Bregman, and Cedric Mullins. If you have any suggestions for the team, players certain programs packs what should i do let me know down below i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace go download that underdog fantasy app code shelfie